welcome to Mipon University how to play donut drive through in donut drive through two to four players compete to serve the most donuts on other sweet treats and collect the most money in donut drive through player wins by collecting the most money which is shown on the sweet treat cards the game ends after a player collect prepare and serve five recipes just a quick setup of the game firstly lay these four cards in the center of the table picking the correct sides depending on how many players are playing the game these sides with two plates two to three players and this side with three plates for four players also put the draw deck of the recipe cards to the side then each player collects one of these recipe cards that is worth zero and two donuts on three to four players game or three donuts on two player game every player will take their turns in the clockwise order around the table on their turn player will choose one of the following two options the first option they can put one or two donut on any of the cards available the second option is to take two donuts up to two donuts from one card back to the hand I will now discuss what each card means first one is learn the recipe a player plays one or two donuts on the plate and take either two if they're placing one donut or taking three recipe cards to their hands choose one of them and place in front of them discarding the other two a player cannot have more than two unprepared recipe in front of them at a time if they are to take a third one they must first discard one of the face-up unprepared card in front of them to the discard pile if the draw pile of the recipe card runs out players then shuffle all the recipe cards in the discard pile to form a new deck the second action is to prepare a recipe player plays a donut on a plate declare which recipe they'd like to prepare for example this coated baby play roll a die if the result of the die is equal or greater to the number here next to the little spoon the player succeeded in preparing the recipe player can also alternatively put the second donut on the second plate when the space is available to add plus one to the die roll result this recipe is now prepared and the player then flip this recipe to the side indicating that this recipe is prepared player must choose whether to place one or two donuts before making the roll anytime a player rolls one it is an automatic fail regardless of any bonus dice that they might have the third action is to serve a prepared recipe player place again one or two donuts they must choose to place one or two donuts before rolling the die if they place two donuts they will add plus one to the result of die roll they then choose a recipe that has been prepared roll a die and if the number on the die is equal or greater to the number on the cards where the oven mid is then they successfully serve the recipe the player then flip the cards over and put it back to the straight position again with the one die roll it is also serve recipe gives players additional bonus you may ask why there are seven pips required on a dice roll this is where this comes handy when you roll a number and it doesn't meet requirements or it is more than six you may turn this to the side to add one pip to the die roll you can do this with as many cards as necessary as you like these cards don't 
turn over automatically. This is where the fourth action comes to play. The player may place a donut and, flip, and turn all of the cards back, ready to be used again. The next action the player can do is taking the donuts back. It doesn't matter which donut they're taking back, as long as they're taking back up to two donuts from one card and not more than two donuts in their possession for a three to four player game or three donuts in a two player game. If a player doesn't want to do any of this action, they may also pass. The game end triggers when the player has successfully served five recipe cards. Once a player who does this, the end's turn immediately and every other player following them will then take one more turn up to the start player. That way, all players will have equal number of turns. Each player then adds up the total of money on their recipe cards. If there is a tie, the player who served the most different type of trades, as signified by the small capitals in the lower left corner of the recipe cards, wins. If there is still a tie, tight player share the victory. It is also possible to add to the basic rules the baker cards. The baker cards give each player special ability. These cards are handed out during setup and stay face up in front of each player for the duration of the game. The first baker card gives the player's ability to take extra recipe. So when that player learns a recipe, that player may draw and keep one more card than any, everyone else. After placing one donut, this player draws three recipe cards instead of two and may keep up to two. After placing two donuts, this player draws four recipe cards and may keep up to two. Still respecting the rules of a player can only have maximum of two unprepared cards at a time. The second baker card, when taking the prepare action, player adds one to the die roll. If the player rolls one, the player still fails, however. The third baker card, when taking serve action, that player adds one to the die roll. If the player rolls a one, the player still fails. The fourth and last baker card allows the player at the start of that player turns to turn one of his serve cards back to the unused position.